And tonight on our great, stop laughing, Trippy, on our great, great American <laughs> panel, he's a Democratic strategist, Fox News contributor Joe Trippy is back. He, a nationally syndicated columnist, executive vice pres president of Edelman PR, Tony Blankley is with us. He's a thrill writer. His latest book is called Buried Secrets. Joe Finder's back with us. And uh, guys, good to see you all. Thank you. All right, we've got to get to the whole debt ceiling because we're told, jo uh, John Boehner, the speaker, said we, we may have the deal within 48 hours. Um, first, let's go to the president using an analogy, using the words gun to our head. You know, remember, he's the one that lectures us about rhetoric, tone in the country. Here's what he said. Never in our history has the United States defaulted on its debt. The debt ceiling should not be something that is used as a gun against the heads of uh, the American people to extract tax breaks for corporate jet owners. All right, class warfare again. All right, here's the first point, Trippy. He voted as senator not to raise the debt ceiling because he said it's irresponsible. We got to live within our means. Hypocrisy, number one. Number two is rhetoric. And number three, if we get to the point, and this is the fourth occasion, that, that we're at this deadline, the full faith and credit argument, we're going to pay our debts first. The thing we're going to cut is programs. So he's not being honest with the American people, number three. Well, I also think off, you know, look, I think all those are points, fair points, but the bigger point is he's not on jobs. There, there, there's an opportunity here to create some jobs with this thing. We're not, debt is a big problem with the American people, but it's the economy, it's the jobs that aren't happening. There, you can do, Eric Cantor opened the door by shutting, you know, by putting loopholes on the table. You can do tax credits that would build schools, create a million jobs. Uh, it's, it's happened in Virginia. Howard Dean, my old boss, supports the idea of, of doing these kinds of tax credits. There's, that's where he needs to get to. That's where Democrats have to get to on this thing. We have right. to win on jobs. All this other stuff is just posturing. Let me, that's well, not let, me, let me go to Tony, because on the other side of this, this is a moment of truth you for you. these Republicans. If they screw this up and they get Look. screwed in this deal, I, don't, I think they will be, every one of them will be primaried. Look, in, in 1988, President Herbert Walker Bush said, read my lips, no new taxes. Then he cut a, tax, a deal with the Democrats to raise taxes, and he got defeated. Uh, I was there with Newt. We broke with him on that. If the Republicans, their only excuse for existing right now in Washington is to lower the deficit and not do it by raising taxes. And if they decide to get sucked into a, what is almost certainly going to be a phony accounting tricks kind yep. of, a, of, of a budget like deficit the 20 11 budget. Oh, the, look, I, we all know all of them. They, you're right, they're going to get primary. They deserve it. It'll, it'll be a catastrophe for both the Republicans and for the country. This is a big moment. This is a big moment. Well, that's, you're talking about. Go ahead. What, what, what you say? Guys, so you're talking about the, the, the politics aspect of this. Look, a real conservative is going to say this is the opportunity to cut down, cut trillions of spending, all right? And this is one of the things, you know, look, Reagan, both you and I admire Reagan, and he bit the bullet a couple times and had to raise taxes to save Social Security. All right, and... One, and, one caveat. He yeah. was promised $3 in spending cuts. The Tech cuts. Rebel in, 19, well, in 1982. But, so my, my and, point and, is and, and President Reagan said it was the biggest mistake he ever made That's because right. he was promised by Tip O'Neill $3 of spending cuts for every $1 of tax. He did get the spending cuts, but he did get the tax but, increase. So he made but, a deal and with Tip O'Neill. And that's going to happen again this time but, with the Republicans. But one of the things the Reagan deal. did with the Democratic yeah. Congress was do exactly these kind of tax, and tax credits yeah. that I'm talking about where, with historical buildings and things that created jobs for building trades people, people out there that are out of work right now because of the housing then, crisis. Then why did David Plouffe go out there and actually suggest, oh, the American people don't care about unemployment numbers. The American people, they're not caring about uh, debt to GDP uh, look, ratios. I, I think that that showed a lot of, uh, showed some indifference that I don't think that, that the administration, I think it's. I'd make just, them eat just, those words every single day. should not have day. said those words. Uh, I, I, you're not going to get me to defend that. Tony, by, by the, oh, oh, go ahead. I'm go ahead. sorry. No, Tony. go ahead. I just want to say, uh, the thing about. You guys are too polite. <laughs> all right. All right. Losing okay. all, all. All right. The thing about the gun to your head thing, I think that's not really totally fair because he actually, uh, Obama did not say, don't use the gun to my gun to your head. He did. Thing. No, he used, no, no. He, he said, no, I've, I've looked over the remarks in two seconds. He said, what he said should was, not be used that this is a, used as a gun against but, the heads no, no, of the no, American no, people. No, no. Yes, he said that. No problem. Oh. I get that. Sarah I, Palin I no, has a targeted district. Wait, 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 nuts. wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Obama in his Tucson speech said, cool, chill. Cool the rhetoric, all right? And in, I, was, I saw that and I said, that's great, because people were on the left were criticized, were actually blaming Sarah Palin for having a target on her, on her website. 
and that's ridiculous. Hey, but, so he was but he was saying just chill the rhetoric. Sweet, look, but just, I, he, he, uses, so he, he, he uses the same are. harsh rhetoric that he says other people shouldn't be using. He says leave your ideology at the door, and then he comes in with this. I think it's a great figure. I mean, we're so far off of where people are. They're worried about their jobs. They're worried well, about this economy. Be, that's I where the president has to be in it. And there's a way for Republicans and Democrats to come together. And actually, no, we, you and I could go do this. We go meet with Eric Cantor and the. And, I'm, and, I'm, very, and I'm not going to raise taxes. I'm, I'm not, very cynical. I'm not about, raising taxes. I'm very Steffi. cynical about the prospect of Washington coming up with real budget cuts. It, they, President gimmicks. Obama is talking about in the 12th out it's year. Again, it's worse. Yeah. I mean, if Medicare, done this Medicare is going to go insolvent before the 12th out year when the president's going to backload whatever alleged spending cuts. I, I, yeah. I will tell any of the Republicans you're watching, this is your moment of truth. This is it. Don't blow it. I'm telling you. And it, You can it's cut good trillions of spending. Trillions of spending. It's good for the country and also good for your political career. Right. More with our great American panel after the break.